as the crowd continues to file in. We get set to bring you another exciting game. We're here again for another great game featuring two very solid teams. Thanks for being with us as Comets get set to take on Sharks. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. One thing that can turn an average defense into a great one is the guys up front. When you have someone like this who consistently puts pressure on the quarterback, it allows the rest of the defense to drop back in coverage and not have to blitz or pressure as much. And when you can do that, offenses have a tough time getting things done. Emmett Smith will have to be at his best against that defense if he's hoping to help carry his team to a victory. He'll also try to get him out of the backfield, hit him on a few screens and dump offs. He's a threat whenever he has the ball in his hands, so don't be surprised to see him touch the ball over 20 times throughout today's game. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Much anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He decides not to return this one. So he downs the kick in the end zone. The backs are lined up in an eye. Play to the left. Loss of about one. You're just going to try. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 17. Bring that pain, baby. They got nothing. They couldn't get anything going through the middle. You know, it's because the defense filled all the gaps. Back was looking for a place to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the gaps, bringing them down for a loss. So, John, we expect a lot of big plays in today's game with two of the best offenses in the NFL having at it. The thing about both these teams is they're not just one dimension. If something doesn't work, they make the adjustment and they come at you in another way. I'm looking for lots of big plays in this one. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. From the 36 yard line, the offense heads out onto the field for the first time. Keep an eye on the safety. Take advantage of the spot where the defense looks soft. Pressure coming. Scrambling. Throwing. Incomplete pass. The wobbly pass falls to the ground incomplete. He floated it up there long enough. You would have thought someone might have gotten under it. They're directing yeah. traffic. Flying time. Closing in. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Breaking through. The 10. Touchdown, Sharks. That's a huge play by the quarterback. The quarterback made the right read on that one, leading to a long pass reception that put some points in the board. Right. So they'll try to tack on the extra point. And it's on its way, and he ticks on the extra point. So that drive took only a few ticks off the clock, yet still got them into the end zone. Hey, I guess they figured, who needs ball control? And as long as you're getting touchdowns, it really doesn't matter if it takes a long time or no time at all. Booming kick downfield. They'll choose to just down this one and start at the 20. Chicago losing by seven, heads back out. First and ten. Ball on their own 20. Montana gets set. Pressure. Rowing. Nearly intercepted. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. That's the thing. That was a perfect opportunity to make a big play for his defense. 
he lets it go as an incomplete pass rather than an interception. Under pressure, gets rid of it, comes up with it. He hangs on to the high pass. You can go to this guy anytime, even if it's not a perfect throw. He has the uncanny ability to always come up with a catch. Set. To the air on first down. Pressure coming with the throw. This pass is incomplete. And that pass is dropped. The throw was right there, but he couldn't make the catch. This is one of those guys who's working really hard to improve himself. Every now and then, he'll let one bounce off his hands like that. But most of the time, you can rely on him to make the catch when you really need it. Hand off to the tailback. He delivers the ball. About a two-yard gain here. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. Ball on their own 35. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Gets the pass off, perfect pass. He didn't make it, and it brings up fourth down. That's the kind of mental error that drives coaches crazy. As a receiver, you gotta be aware of where you are in the field and where you have to go to get the first down. This will be his second punt so far tonight. Here's the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. He did the right thing. Concentrated and caught the ball. Use all of the field when passing. Make sure the defense can't just sit there on any particular route. Set. Sharks using motion. He hands it off. Room to run. Good job up front as the line springs the back for the first down. The thing that happened there was the offensive line did a heck of a job of blocking that blitz. And that allowed the back to get through the line and into the secondary. Yellow. Looks like he's calling an audible. Set. Smith, the deep man. Ball on the 42-yard line. He'll get the call again. Picks up maybe three on that carry. Get behind those big old linemen and let them do their work. Chicago comes out in their nickel package. Vic with a man in motion. Aimed it off to the back. Couldn't find any success in the middle. Yeah, and he was looking for a place to cut back. But the defenders had all their gaps, and there was no place to cut at all. Sharks line up in the shotgun. Set. The motion man. Drops back, scrambling, going deep, incomplete. He let that one loose, but overthrows his receiver. That pass was thrown with so much velocity on it that the receiver never caught up with it. Leckler will come into this game to punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. And this punt will sail out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the one-yard line. Set. Get up. This one is handed off. Powering ahead. Four-yard pick up there by the fullback. He's to the 10. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. They'll go from the I formation. To the air on first down. Hits him on the run. He got his hand on the face mask there, and it cost him. That defender almost pulled his helmet right off. Set. 
Winslow, the man in motion. Again in the run. And the halfback picks up about three. This defense might work. Comets line up in the shotgun. Give it all you got, Montana with a man in motion. Payton. Gain of about five. It's third down, two to go. Ball on their own 36. Montana sets up. Man in motion. Can't bring him down. Across midfield. Great run to pick up the first down. This is the type of play where the back gets hit. He has the strength to keep going, and he picks up even more yardage. Call this defense here. They'll go from the I formation. Bust this grill, Keith. Give it all you got. Huh? So they get a second chance. Yeah, that's a heads-up play. You always need to keep your eyes open because you never know when something like this is going to happen. He gets the handoff on the delay. He'll bring him down at the 44. One yard gain by the running back. This is what I would call in this situation. up with seven guys in the second half. This one falls incomplete. Wright did a nice job getting open, but he couldn't make the catch. Sometimes he has trouble facing the more physical defenses in the league. Number eight will try to have this one stop inside the ten. Here's the punt. Pass the goal line, no return here. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. That directing traffic. Moss, the motion man. Loses one tackle. That's a three-yard game. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Smith, the lone back. Hut. Let's go, come on. Hut, hut. Hut. Closing in, looking for an option. Scrambling. With the throw, and he makes the grab. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the change. Bang the ball up in there. Those safeties will start to cheat up, and that's when you can go over the top. They line up in the I formation, directing traffic. Ball on the 37-yard line. Moss comes in motion. Receives the handoff. Running back picks up about four yards. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing to one of your backs. After one quarter of football, a touchdown separates these two teams with the score. Miami, seven. Chicago, zero. And we're ready to start the second quarter. They need six. Only one man back. Vic directing traffic. Man in motion. Again, he'll get the call. Gain of about five. Five-yard gain on the play. Using motion. Going to the left. Breaking through. The 40. Loses one tackle. Hurdles the defender. And they finally make the tackle at the 26. When you're talking about taking your man out of the play, this is what you're talking about. You know, this is a kind of block that guys dream about. 
I mean, he just unloads on that guy. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Neal comes in motion. They'll go with a run once again. It's a five. You can't make any mistakes down here. So run the ball and just get it in there. Only one man back. That sets up, calling an audible. Sharks using motion. Again with the carry. Gain of two. Nothing special here. Just get a first down. Dropping back, pressure, he surveys the field, scramble, brings it down looking to run. Right here is how he can hurt him. They get him in a third down situation. If they can give him a lane to run through, he's going to take it. And right there he takes it for a big first down. Full stop, first in the backfield. Drops back, under pressure, get the throw, picked off. Beat on the quarterback, may have forced the hand interception. The other thing is, the second guy was just sitting back there waiting in their zone. He tossed it up there, they were all over. It's first and ten. Man, don't go! Hawkeye right! They'll go from the eye formation, using motion. Crosses it out to the left. The running back gets about three. And a smart coach would call this defense. Get at him. Pressure coming. Intercepted. He has some room. Touchdown, Sharks. The defender makes a leaping interception. He just stepped in front of that one. He saw his opportunity, and boom, he took it. Benetieri comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. The extra point attempt is good. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. He got all of that one. He'll choose to just down this one and start at the 20. So he downs the kick in the end zone. Hey, this is a good one to call. Montana gets set. Barry comes in motion. Closing in with the pass. This one falls incomplete. The defense really put the pressure on us. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. And the halfback picks up about three. Out of the gun. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means your offense is making big plays when they need them. They brought some extra people but couldn't stop them before he got the first. And run blitzing these guys isn't a bad idea because you know they like to run. you got to be sure to bring guys in the right place. If you think they might run to the outside, additional blitzers in the middle isn't going to help them. He tucks it away. Hey, couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Gets rid of it. Off target. But he gets it. Right. Beat the coverage on that pass. Soft hands like that are hard to find. This guy looks like he's a keeper. Yeah. 
With the pass. The pass was incomplete. A little too much on that pass, resulting in an overthrow. Looks like he might be pressing a little bit out there. He needs to be a little more patient, find his receiver, and then deliver the ball on the spot that his receiver can go to. Number eight is looking for a good punt here. Here's the kick. They'll spot this one where it went out. You got to execute out there. There's no second chances. First and ten. Ball on their own 15. Set. Hut. One. To the 20. Good game there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first down, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. Set. Hut. Hook out right. Hut. Vic sends a man in motion with the carry. Smith couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. Vic sees something yeah. in the defense. Blue, 16, yeah. Jones drags the ball carrier down behind the line. So that tackle was his third. Lost about a yard. Chicago comes out of the quarter defense. On the 23 yard line. We'll see. Come on, key up. Ball drop under. Hut. Drops back. He's looking. Rolls out to his left. With the throw. They couldn't get past the sticks, and that'll bring up fourth down. You know, that's one play that drives me crazy when I see it. Does a receiver not realize where they need to be for the first down? This will be his second punt of the game. Off the side of his foot. You should stop him with this play. Comets line up in the shotgun. Dropping back the pass on first down. Montana seems to put every throw right on the numbers. I'll tell you, of all the quarterbacks in the league, he might be the most accurate. It seems like just about every throw is a good one. He's not the kind of guy who's going to throw a lot of balls into coverage either. They give it to the handback. They couldn't pick up any blocking on that one. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Get at him, Keith. Rid of it, and it's intercepted. Quarterback was ready to get hit and just threw it up the ground. And the key to the play was pressure. They force a quarterback to get rid of it before he's ready. And when he's rushing his throws out there, bad things are going to happen to this offense. They're directing traffic. Smith. Misses. Gets the call, picks up four, maybe five there. Scan the defense quickly here. If nothing's open downfield, get rid of it by passing it to one of your backs. Set. Set. Take him out. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Bang the ball up in there. Those safeties will start to cheat up, and that's when you can go over the top. Set. So two minutes Set. left before halftime. Calling an audible. Sharks using motion. To carry it. Four yard gain there. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. All stop. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt.
Miami calls a timeout. They have two left. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. Montana sets up. He'll bring him down at the 15. Four yard gain there. Gain of four on the play. Miami pulls a timeout. That's their second. Call this defense here. <laughs> Only one man in the backfield. <laughs> Miami calls a timeout. They have none remaining. Deep in their own territory. Special teams play. And it looks like there's a penalty on the play. Offsides on the defense. So he's called for encroachment. Yeah, he jumped early and touched an offensive player, and that forces the officials to blow the whistle. Just a little time left before the half, and they'll punt it. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. Take what you can get on this pass play, but don't fight for extra yard. You need to get out of bounds. They'll pass on first down. Pressure, looking for a receiver. The defender's got it. Looking for leverage. Haynes demonstrated great ability there. The defense had everything covered up pretty well there. I'm not surprised that this one was a turnover. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. And the catch is made. Comets call a timeout. That's their first. This is a good one to call. Sharks come out of the quarter defense. Drops back. Under pressure with the throw. The defense has it. A lot of space in front of him. The 50. The 40. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Miami 14. Chicago 0. Back to the field. We're ready to start the second half of play. Number three. Comes in to kick off. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He got all of it. Miami already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. They'll go from the I formation. Using motion. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Melissa, do you have an update for us? Thanks, Al. The head coach is very concerned with his defense's inability to come up with stops when it's really needed them. With his team trailing, it could mean a lot more blitzing. Al? Thank you. That was Melissa Stark with the update from the sideline. About a two-yard gain here. You need a good release on this pass. Keep this drive moving. Third and long. Looking for a receiver with the throw, and he hits his throw. Keeps the beat with him. A great pass and a great run after the catch. Well, you talk about a defense breaking down. Here they give him enough time to get the long pass off. Then they let him catch it, and they let him run for a long game. They see something in the defense. 
Man in motion. Hands it off again. A lot of space. He'll bring him down at the 40 yard line. Gain of nine on the play. The backs are lined up in an eye. Calling an audible. Owens in motion. It came with a blitz and there wasn't anywhere to go. Yeah, and that's why you send all those guys to plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. Changing the play now. Gonzalez, the man in motion. Loses one tackle. Misses the tackle. Here's the thing. We always say that in any long run, someone has to get a big block. And that's exactly what this is. I mean, this guy just gets run over, and he's completely knocked out of the play. Directing traffic. Sharks using motion. Tomlinson. Number 81 makes the stop at the 22-yard line. You gotta be aware of everything going on out there. If you see a weakness, you gotta attack it. Tomlinson, the lone setback. Pressure coming, gets the pass off. A little off target, but boy, they've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice looking drive here. Looks like he's calling an audible. Vic sets up. Owens comes in motion. Closing in. Rosen. This pass is incomplete. That pass had no chance. What happened there was they got in the throwing lane. When you're rushing the quarterback, you taught if you don't get to him in time, get your hands up and try and knock it down just like that. Sharks using motion. With the pass, no one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. Sharks line up in the shotgun. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down conversions is a keeper stat. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. So this one will be from about 31 yards out. The kick is up. And so that kick is good. At 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop him. Benatero is back and ready to put this one in the air. Booming kick downfield. He decides not to return this one. They start this drive with the 20 after downing the kick in the end zone. Backing off. Hand it off to the back. Runs him over. Looking for leverage. The defender brings him down at the 22-yard line. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. Boom! This defense will stop him for sure. Second and eight coming up here. Give it all you got. Sharks will come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Incomplete. Dawkins just made a great defensive play. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time. And he was right there to break the play up. Melissa, has there been any information on how badly he's hurt? Good news, Al. The trainer said he did sustain an injury, but it doesn't appear to be anything serious. His return is probable. That was Melissa Stark with her sideline report. Stepping up with the pass. Loses one tackle. Now that's a stiff one. Montana throws a perfect pass to the receiver. The receiver has some room to work on that pass. He made the catch and looked for some extra yardage after the reception. 
unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on their own 16. Man in motion. Going to the air on first down. And the catch is made. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Calling an audible that sets up. Using motion. Hand off to the tailback. Only a yard by the halfback. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Set. Here come the heat. Drop back. Drop. Stay up. Man in motion. Pressure. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. Houston got up and knocked that pass away. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. They see something in the defense. Sharks using motion. Big open. Kept it on the ground, picks up about seven. Now, a smart coach would punt the ball here. With the throw, turn, he has it. Across midfield, the 30. He's finally brought down at the 15. This is just a great play to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. I mean, fourth down, you got one last shot to do it, and they do it perfectly. It's first and 10. Sixth play of this drive. He surveys the field, throws over to his right. Touchdown, Miami. Just watch this guy get open on the right side. Quarterback sees him and throws a strike for the touchdown. You better kick it here. They'll line up for the extra point. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Down the field, they went efficiently and effectively over 70 yards to the end zone. Yeah, the offense kept taking and taking, and the defense kept giving and giving until they finally got the touchdown. Now they're going to talk with their coach and see how they can keep it from happening again. From the one-yard line. Ball loose. Sharks scoop up the live ball. A very costly fumble, and it's a touchdown. You better kick it here. And after conversing with his coaches upstairs, he decides to challenge this one. I think that's the right thing to do. I thought he was down, and then the ball popped loose, but it's difficult to tell from this angle. And mostly, the official is seeing what we're seeing. So it's inconclusive. The call will stand, since he needs to be 100% sure to overturn a call. No time to be charged to the defense. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. If you don't use them, they go to waste. First and ten. Ball on their own 17. Comets using motion. Take. Breaking free. What a stiff one. A fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their blocks and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. He can left. Stay guys. Maybe a yard on that counter play. No more. Heck, this is a good one to call. It's second down and nine to go. Set. 
pressure coming. Rosie will tackle at the 34-yard line. He made a quick read and got rid of it in a hurry. The quarterback delivered that pass right on the mark. With no defense for a perfect pass. Gets the pass off. Nice ball going to the air. That'll move the track. You should stop it with this play. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 40. Montana gets set. Using motion. Get at it. Get the ball. Sideline side. Backing off. Drops back. Pressure. He goes to the left side. Runs through the tackle. Perfect spiral on that pass. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns. Can thread it in there against tight coverage. And he can put some air under it when he's trying something downfield. And we'll start the fourth quarter. It off to the back. Even though they're trailing, the coach seems unwilling to abandon the ground game. There comes a time in the game when you just need to forget the run and move down the field quickly. Under pressure, the defenders got it. There's no time. The defense having a great day. Three picks. Go with the ground attack. You got to take it to him. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Set. Man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Just about a yard in the run. Be aware of the pressure here. If you feel the heat, you got to make quick decisions. Just make sure they're good ones. Only one man back, directing traffic. Ball on the 50-yard line. Shark using motion. Tucks it away. Tomlinson was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. With the carry, picks up five. Now, a smart coach would punt the ball here. Sanders lines up deep for the punt return. Penalty marker down on the field. Dead ball. Play of game. On the offense. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Put it away. Set. Here's the punt. Andy signals for the fair catch. ahead for about five. This play might work. A little over four to go. Backing off. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. Incomplete pass. Montana had to unload that pass in a hurry. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. rid of it. Oh. 
personal foul. First base mask on the defense. He yanked his helmet and it cost him. With his helmet on sideways like that, I bet he thought his whole head had just been readjusted on his neck. Take the deep back. Throws it and it's complete. Sheds the pack. The move the sticks with that completion. I tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Snake us! And this is the fifth play of this drive. With the pass. pass Incomplete pass. pass. The defender was able to get in there to disrupt the pass. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. 45-yard line. That all you got? Ain't nothing. Montana gets set. Stepping up, gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping it. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Hand off to the tailback. They're trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz. And the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. Bring the pay. Hey. Drops back. He's looking. Pressure gets the pass off on the move. Bailey with the tackle at the 13. The smart coach would call this play. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll get it again. A five-yard pickup on that run by the tailback. Boom! This defense will stop him for sure. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the seven-yard line. Only one man back. Play action. To the end zone. Touchdown counts. He slips behind the secondary and got open for the touchdown. Now that's just how they practiced it. They go over this play all the time in practice. They use it a few times in just about every game. But let me tell you, most of the time it's successful just like that. Come on, Gio. You got him. It's the toss to the left. Great throw there, and the two-point conversion is good. Big time drive there, John. More than 10 plays, and it winds up with a touchdown. When you talk about guys being on the same page, that drive is what you mean. The quarterback's doing what he's supposed to do. Linemen are doing what they're supposed to do. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. That's how you score a touchdown. The 30. The special teams unit did a real nice job picking up their blocking assignments on that play. And I'll tell you, they created huge lanes for them to run right through. Vic with a man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Gained five, maybe six yards there. Changing the play now. Man in motion. Slips the tackle. Talking about taking your man out of the play, this is what you're talking about. You know, this is a kind of block that guys dream about. I mean, he just unloads on that guy. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Three, Looks like 25. he's changing the play. Yellow, 25. Stick up. Get in there. Hut. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle by Page. What a play here. When you anticipate the snap count perfectly, this is what will happen. I mean, he was into the backfield on top of the quarterback before he could even get the handoff. Set. Drops back. Scrambling with the throw. Won't have to break stride. Good catch by the receiver on that play. Yeah, he made sure he was in the clear, moved into position, and made the catch. Set. 
it. Bust his grill, Keith. Either way. Steps up into the pocket. Looking for a receiver. Scramble. Rolls right. Rolls out to his left. Launching this one deep down the middle. Touchdown, Miami. By Mike Cook. And another touchdown pass. His third of the game. You better kick it here. Terry comes in for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. He got all of that one. He got all of it. Let's see if they can have the same sort of success on this position that they had on their last, picking up a lot of yardage through the air on their way to a score. Pass play here on first down. He's looking. Pumps once. With the pass. Catch on the run. He shakes the defender. Lays into him with a stiff arm. Pushes off. The 40. The 30. The 20. He's written out at the 18. The pass that nearly goes the distance. I tell you, that was an impressive play. I mean, he makes everything look so effortless and easy. Rolling right. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He was there, but the pass slipped out of his hands. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands in the team. And it's surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Throws it. He finds his man. How about that speed? Great individual effort. He throws lasers all over the field. He can throw them short. He can throw them long. He can throw them medium. He can throw them anyway. Hand it off. Only a yard by the halfback. One yard gain on the play. Two minutes left. Ball on the one yard line. Back the man in motion. Give it all you got. Hey, they went backward on that one. And they ran right into the blitz. They should have changed the play at the line. Maybe an audible to a sweep or a pass play. Something like a quick slant. Give this defense a shot. Only one man in the backfield. Bring that pain, baby. Jump back. Drop. Sir. Montana gets Jump set. Back. Using motion. We'll see. Let's go. Come on. Hit him low. Under pressure. Rolling out to his right. Touchdown comes. He did a great job finding his target in the back of the end zone, John. So let's pick up the action. So they'll try to get the two here. Moving right. They don't get the two points. These two point conversions are always a gamble. Number three sets up for the onside kick. The onside kick is off. They'll head back onto the field looking to duplicate their last drive when they were able to get the ball into the end zone, basically through their passing game. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. That directing traffic. Man in motion. Blue 16. Blue 16. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Hand it off. Takes that one and heads upfield to pick up the first down. You know what they did was pick up a blitz. And when they did that, it opened up a hole and they ran right through it. Set. 
Hut, hut! Hut! Eagle now! Come on, D up! Hut! Hut! Using Walk motion. Out. Hut! Ball stop. <laughs> One yard gain by the running back. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Set. Yo. Directing traffic. Yeah. We got nothing. Stay up, you. Hop by right. Hit him low. Hut. Clears the defender. About a one yard loss. Third and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The bats are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 33-yard line. Neal moves in motion. To the tailback. Thomas call a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. I think they'll punt here with not much time left in the game. A good high punt is the best bet. So they can't get a good return on it. Nickelback in this time. Ball on the 35 yard line. Yo, that gets set. Calling an audible. Man in motion. Huh. Sharks get the ball back after it's turned over on down. This turnover won't hurt them. They already have the game well in hand. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. Set. Using Set. motion. Cowboy. First down. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. Thomas line up in a five receiver set this time. Loosening up the coverage on the outside. He's looking. Pressure coming. Stepping up. Rolling. Almost picked off. Third and ten. Coming up. Ball on their own 27. The corners are giving a bit of a cushion. Number 19. Goes in motion. Surveying the field. And he's taken down in the backfield by White. And time runs out. The game is over. The final score is Miami 31. Chicago 14. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.